Welcome to my channel, Being You Now. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Today I'm doing your three monthly reading from July to September. So if you are drawn to this reading, there must be a message. I fully believe there is a message in here somewhere for you that is meant for you. So let's get right into it. Today I'm going to be doing my six card spread to see what's coming up in the next three months for you. And I will also be pulling specific cards for romance as well as abundance. So stay till the end. <clears throat> so let's look at your overall energy. It's coming towards you. Whoa, lots of cards want to come towards you. <laughs> but you don't see coming. Okay, these two want to stick together. So we'll take them. Oh, another set of twos. Lots of twos. This six card spread is becoming very quickly more than six cards. But that's all right. We follow the guidance from divine. That's why we're here today. <laughs> so what's the outcome? Okay. Outcome, we have a single card. Hooray. <laughs> so your overall energy for the next three months is all about strength. So the strength card is... It's two things. It's the message I'm getting is embrace your softness and embracing your softness is not going to make you weak. This is a major arcana, by the way. So it's not just any good old card. And this is the strength card. So I feel like for a lot of you, Leo season will be very, very potent. So you may have Leo placements in your chart or you could be a fellow fire sign. And I feel like Leo season is going to really be a huge transformation or bring some pivotal things to the forefront which is going to require you to have courage to have confidence to have conviction within yourself as you navigate through whatever it is that you're navigating through strength card is also about having compassion which we normally don't um people don't normally talk talk much about you know compassion when we talk about the strength card but this is about having compassion for self so outwardly, people may, you know, with the strength card, I'm picking up that people around you may think that you are very strong, you're resilient, you're navigating th through things with great effort and ease. But you, you know, there could be a lot of inner turmoil. That's the word that's been given to me. So I'm going to run with it. Turmoil in the sense of I'm not saying something negative is happening. You may have heightened emotions. There's lots of planetary alignments. We have Lion's Gate during Leo season. So there's a lot. We have um, the second full moon in Capricorn. So if you desire to be part of the manifestation ritual that I'm running for the full moon, you can hashtag manifest. So the information is in the description box. But there is a lot leading up to Leo, Leo season. And also there's going to be Mercury retrograde. How did I forget that during Leo season, right? So next three months, compassion is your friend. Self-care, self-love is your friend. Being gentle. You can see this beautiful woman has her hand, but she is not forcing anything. She's got this ease, this grace. It's about infinite possibilities. So the next three months, you have infinite possibilities, but it's about how you balance your energies, how you balance from being confident to compassionate, how you balance courage to self-care and self-love. That's that's the dance. That's the beautiful dance that's going to be very important in the next three months for you. Okay. Whoa, tower. The tower of power or the power of the tower, whichever way you want to look at it. The tower is the tower is the tower. Oh, Mars energy. Actually, this is also Aries and uh, Leo energy. Um, because Mars, Mars is the ruling planet for both Aries and Leo. Um, what I want to say with these two cards, I already talked about change, even before seeing the Tower card. These are major arcanas. Major, major arcanas. So big, big life changes are coming your way in the next three months. But your superpower will be how you navigate through it. And that's what I was talking about with the strength card as I was explaining it to you. So your superpower is about only, you know, changes always happen every day. Every day, the only thing that is constant is change. 
once the time is gone, we don't get that time. The dates are changing. The time is constantly changing. The world is changing. We now have AI. I mean, you name it. We've got, we're now going pretty much, you know, from so many organizations are accepting crypto, for example. I'm not saying that's what you do, but I'm just talking about change. So I'm providing some examples because you know how much I love my analogies and how much I like to make it real by expressing those things. So long story short, change is going to happen in whichever way you look at it in your life. There's some area in your life that's going to be going through major changes. It's a the proof or the the power is how you navigate through it. Hence the strength card. And even if you know with the strength card, the other thing is you already have the strength, the resilience to go through it. You have the tools. However, if you need help, that also requires strength. There is a certain level of strength that you exhibit when you're asking and receiving help. And that's having compassion. That's having prioritizing yourself, prioritizing your needs, knowing what you need. That's that softness. That's that beautiful dance. So be very open to that in the next three months. All right. What you don't see coming. Okay. So somebody here is definitely changing job or you might be relocating. So you might, because pentacles, somebody here is having changes in the, in your working environment. You might be changing jobs, shifting jobs. Others of you, you might be relocating. You might be relocating because of work or you might be relocating because maybe the place where you live no longer feels like it resonates with you or maybe the cost of living is too high or you found a um, place that you've, or, or, you know, a house or a home that you've always wanted to live in and you're finally deciding to move. Wherever you're moving, this change is taking you to the di direction where it's calmer, it's more peaceful. There is less of this up and down energy. There is more bliss. There is more calmness. I just feel like all of a sudden my energy, you know, with the tower, it had risen up. All this fire energy right here, it had risen up. Now it's like, oh, I can breathe again. Yep, it's gentle, it's peaceful, it's flowy. So this is what you don't see coming. You may not be there yet. Maybe you are looking for properties. Maybe you are putting your resumes out there for different jobs. Maybe you're already doing that, but maybe you haven't got the job yet. Maybe you haven't heard. Maybe you're still at interview stage. That's what this is talking about. In the next three months, there are going to be changes in your physical location, place of work, or um, you know where you're traveling to and from. There are some changes that are coming through. And for some of you, these changes have been a long time coming. You have been waiting patiently, but you didn't give up. And that's the testament to your strength. That's you being resilient. And I want you to congratulate yourself for that. Because that takes courage that takes power inner power resilience so congratulate yourself celebrate let me know in comments celebrate with each other support each other that's why we're here oh my golly gosh what is there not to love about the nine of pentacles i absolutely adore the nine of pentacles so if you have been going through financial difficulty, if your tower moment is to do with you not having consistent income, you not having a job, you being out of work for a long period of time, because seven, this can be long period of time, could be seven months for somebody here, seven months, nine months is what I'm picking up. Seven, eight, nine months is what's been shown to me that you probably didn't have consistent income. Hopefully it's not years. That's a very long time. Um, but what this nine of pentacles is saying that in the next three months if you're worried about finances if you're worried about being able to make rent your mortgage payments nine of pentacles is saying you will have plenty of resources you will be abundant you will be abundant by the way if you didn't know become a money magnet my four-week online program is where we basically rehash your relationship with money we have modules on energy of money money multiplier make money magic you name it four weeks in an online exclusive container by yours truly so if you want to come hang out with me in an epic community and rewire reprogram your relationship with money this is for you the link is in the description box but nine of pentacles 
she is in luxury abundance somebody here is going through a major transformation i feel like this is a physical transformation maybe you eating clean maybe you you know you've um changed your diet maybe you're exercising more i'm feeling more energy i'm you know this this is giving me again the heat the fire energy although it's an earth energy pentacles but i'm i'm feeling warm so i feel like something to do maybe you're walking more maybe you're doing more steps something has shifted and i also feel like you're changing the way you're showing up like your dressing sense or your hairstyle or color or something has changed which is really going to put you on the map. Sometimes changes don't have to be big. They can be subtle changes that can create a huge impact because that subtle change that you think you made shifts your energy in a way that just amplifies you, that becomes so magnetic to people around you. So sometimes it's the simple things, but people can pick up that you know, pick up the vibe and that's the vibe. All right. So in your advice, oh boy, completion, Knight of Cups. So if your question is about love, I want to say this. If you've been in the re in relationships in the past, the world and the tower card, well, the tower came first and then the world card. So that's how they are in your reading. So after this change you have been able to close that chapter once and for all this is successful completion so congratulate yourself and i feel like if your question is around love or relationship if you've been through you know you've had to separate and you've had to relocate or move houses because the house was your partner's house or whatever the case may be this is saying you've now Finally, close that ch chapter to welcome new love. This new love could not come in until you close this chapter once and for all. And I feel like for some of you, you have been single for a period of time. I'm picking, for somebody very specific, I'm picking up even nine years. Seven or nine years is what I'm picking up. You take what resonates, not everybody's story. But with this Knight of Cups, this is saying this cup could not be offered to you until you made peace with this. The other message, if you're not looking for love, for somebody here that Spirit has just given to me, if you are still processing this, get healing because your heart is yearning to heal. And as you work on your heart, center as you work on healing your energy as you balance the cups within yourself you will be ready and open to receive this cup being offered to you whether you want love or not this is about you balancing your energy and looking after you so whatever's happened here has it's really rattled your heart chakra as well as your root chakra, base chakra, muladhara. I do chakra healing and chakra balancing. So if you desire that, my email information is in the description box. You can email me. It's a game changer. Let me explain to you. When our chakras are all operating at optimal levels, we are nine, ten, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, we feel like the sun card. That's how we feel. But when there are imbalances and the energies are low, so they're not operating at optimal level, think of your car. If the oil levels are low, if the fuel is low, the light starts to flash, gives you a warning, gives you a warning. What happens after, if you don't pay attention to the warning? What happens? It breaks down. Oftentimes, in terms of human beings, other chakras try to overcompensate. So say, for example, your heart chakra is not operating at op optimum levels and it's weak. Your solar plexus and your crown chakra might be working over time, over time, over time. But they can't all do the work of the heart chakra. 
They can try and lift a little bit of the load, but they can't do it continuously. So what happens? Those that were operating at optimal levels, they start to slowly shut down. It's like the cog. Then the cog tightens up. And that's what this whole chakra balancing is all about. Anyway, if you desire a session, I'm explaining that in layman's terms because when we go through life, if it's to do with money, a lot of the times it it impacts our root chakra as well as our solar plexus. We lose confidence. That's how doubt, fear creep in. That's why we feel, oh, I can't tell somebody I want to be so-and-so because they may think I'm greedy, that I want too much money, that I'm money-minded. You know, they, these are the belief systems that come up and they're not even yours. But that's because we have imbalances and we are not operating at optimum levels. Anyway, so if you want healing or chakra balancing, emailing, email me, become a money magnet. The information is in the description box or you can email me. Your outcome, six of cups. Somebody here, you will be, so say for example, if you have been at distance, the six of cups is a card of reunion. It's about nostalgia. So somebody here might be, you might be moving back to your hometown. I have to tell you the way I see it. Now, that's not everybody's story. It could be for one or two people. For, I feel like 5% of you, that's number five, 5% of five people, you will be revisiting a job similar to what you've had in the past. And that's going to make you very, very happy. And that's also going to bring you financial freedom. For others of you, if it's not, not to do with those two things, I feel like the way these, these three months are going to make you feel childlike. It will bring memories of childhood. It will remind you of things you did or enjoyed. It's basically bringing you back to you. Because of all these changes and people that surrounded you and situations that surrounded you, you kind of literally forgot what made you happy. And in these next three months, as you go through these changes and transformation and have that courage to navigate through it, you are going to feel that for you. So I really, really, really like that because ultimately, this is what you want. This is where you want to be. Successful completion. Right? So, yes. Anyway, I'm going to pull some oracle cards. I don't want these readings to be too long. But the next three months look amazing. What are you finding? Let me know. Let me know in comments. Love messages. Ooh, lots of love messages want to come out. This lot wants to keep coming out. So we'll take them. Retreat. A time to disconnect from the world. Maybe that's what this moving is. Sometimes, you know, we feel like that's our world. But is it? I don't know. You tell me. This is what your focus is. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. A lot of you are focusing on your money, your job, your career, your financial stability. Nine of Pentacles. You want financial freedom. I said that. Divine abundance. Ooh, we can't take quarter of the deck, but thank you. We'll be here all day. Please like, share, like and share this video if you haven't already and share it with your loved ones. These are collective rates. You never know who needs to hear these messages. Gratitude. There you go. Goddess Lakshmi, right there. Fill me with gratitude of all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Let me know in comments what are you grateful for. Let's amplify this reading and energy by sharing what are you grateful for right now right this very minute let's let's create this energy of gratitude costs you absolutely nothing but brings more things to be grateful for right now if you ask a question about timing right now do it do it straight after you finish watching this go do the thing stay in the present and do not get too far ahead of the flow you'll soon trust that nothing more will come then can be handled each moment. Amen. Claim this in comments. If you desire any form of healing, personal reading, become money magnet, part of the full moon manifestation ritual, all the information is in the description box. If you can't find something, 
go to the communities tab or feel free to email me. My email information is also in the description box. If you haven't subscribed, I please encourage you to do so. That lets me know you want me to continue with these readings and lets you know when the next reading becomes available. And remember the power that is you by being you know. I will see you next time.